you've played around with Mapbox in Power BI, then you'll know it has loads of great features to create really rich and beautiful maps. And in this video, I walk through how to create some awesome 3D maps. I'm Alice from Discovery AI, and I'm pretty obsessed with Mapbox. So the first step is to create a chloroplast map using Mapbox. Here you can see we've got a chloroplast map of buildings across Melbourne as part of our greening the roof assessment tool. And when we select buildings, we can actually calculate the range of different climate adaptability indices for potential benefits, which could be achieved when we green these buildings. So just note that this data is all synthetic and was created for demonstration purposes only. So you can see that we've created a chloroplast map here with our custom tile set data set to display the building outlines across Melbourne. If you're new to Mapbox or you need a refresher on how to create a chloroplast map, then head across to our previous video blog on Mapbox 101. And this is where I walk through the key steps to help you get started quickly. So once we've created our chloroplast map, the next step is to add the height data set into our map. So you can see here that we have a size field in the map box visual. And taking a look at my building data set, I've actually calculated the height of the buildings across Melbourne. So let's now drag in this height field into my size field well. Whoa, that's some really tall buildings we have here in Melbourne. So this is looking a little bit funny. So the next step is that we have to adjust the extrusion height, pitch and different map properties to make our map look really good. So heading across to the format options under Chloroplast, you can see our extrusion height's 500. So this is way too high for our buildings. I'm going to adjust it down to 5. So you can think of the extrusion height as almost like a multiplier for your um, height field. But what we really need to adjust now is the pitch angle so we can see the full 3D effect. So let's adjust our pitch to 50, which changes the angle of our map here. So now when we zoom in and we hold control, we can actually rotate around and see the 3D buildings from all different perspectives. We can also adjust some of the other map properties. So let's change the background style from outdoor to satellite, which makes our buildings really stand out. And this is starting to look a lot more like Melbourne now. You can see here that we can select different suburbs across Melbourne by using this slicer option here. But taking a look at the map, it's really hard to see which suburbs which because they all have the same colour. So if we take a look at the format options over here, we can actually update the data colours for each individual suburb. If you want to learn more about the awesome things you can do when you combine Power BI and Mapbox, then definitely check out my other video tutorials where I walk through how to get started quickly, how to create um, your own custom styles and backgrounds, and how to create uh, drill down maps where you can reveal different layers of insight. And if you're keen to learn more about Power BI, then definitely reach out to our team at Discovery AI and register for one of our brand new online Power BI Designer Masterclasses. Thanks a lot for listening and have fun designing your own maps.